wish to pay tribute to my kind from my journeys along the Silk Road. That'll be my turn. If it pleases your greatness, you may take my son. Father, what are you doing? Father! Mark, this will not be forever. It's a big production, Marco Polo. It really is. And John, like you're the one who came up with the concept. So when did you have this epiphany for all things Marco Polo? The well, epiphany is I think the right idea because that actually happened when I was literally on the Silk Road in 2007, uh, doing a horseback trek, and I was tr uh, tracing parts of the Silk Road, the Genghis Khan Trail, and I kept encountering Marco Polo. And through the histories, through names of some of the places, the, the Mongolian people speak a lot about Marco um, in their, their history. And that rekindled a, a lifelong fascination with the historical figure. So that's when it started. It was also at a time when uh, exciting creative work was being done, is being done, um, in television. And I felt, you know what? Bringing those two together, the story of Marco Polo, um, and, and mounting it in this format where this Marco's story can truly live and breathe um, is what I want to do next. Because it wouldn't have, uh, your director's already said that this is not just a 10 part series, this is like a 10 hour movie, Dan. And like, being a showrunner on it, I have a great quote from Matthew Carnahan, um, who's the showrunner on House of Lies, and this is how he describes showrunning, just see if you echo some of this. Showrunning is like painting a painting, writing a novel while doing your taxes at the same time. <laughs> so to me this sounds like this could be the best job and also the worst job at the same time. I, I think it was a blast. I mean there were there were moments when I felt like I needed eight arms, but no, it was it was really exciting. More than anything, what I think my job is is to protect protect John's vision and make it real. But also I think what's happening now with the big shows like this is that we're starting the curtain has been pulled back and now the likes of yourselves are starting to become very um, prominent figures. Like you're almost up there now with the stars of the show. Like when you think of people like Vince Gilligan and JJ, and Joss Whedon, and da uh, Damon, Damon, uh, Damon Lindelof, like these guys now have become like celebrities in their own right. Uh, how do you guys find that going forward if Marco Polo becomes a big success, engaging with fans? I haven't really given any thought to engaging <laughs> with fans. You know, I would. Wouldn't be opposed to someone admiring our work. Mm -hmm. I think it's sort of like, uh, you know, it's sort of uh, people like uh, show creators are being celebrated like auteurs mm -hmm. now, in the way that you would as a, as a filmmaker or, a, or a writer for theater or a novelist. And, and, and as a screen, a longtime screenwriter, who you know, as the as the tradition goes, where you're expected to drop your screenplay off at the Nevada border and get out of the way, um, it's uh, it's an exciting. Um, opportunity yes. uh, for me to, um, uh, you know, as I think that in many ways it's a, it's a, a writer's medium, um, and so it's it's a wonderful thing. But I think people are looking at when we like we think we all binge box sets now that we're treating shows like Marco Polo like like sitting in of an evening like like reading a novel like that's how we're kind of consuming yes. shows now it, it, <clears throat> and how do you feel like going forward are we seeing the end of appointment like television in terms of sitting in on a Thursday night and going, oh, I want to watch that movie or is this the way we're going now do you think that? I think this is the way it's going. I don't know very many people who have the kind of lifestyle where they can sit down and watch a show on a Thursday night or on a Sunday night. I think it's all, it's all changing and I think being able to stream things gives people a lot of choice and a lot of freedom. You can read as many chapters as you want, you can read another chapter, you can watch one a week if you want. <laughs>